but to breaking news first. The Australian Security Intelligence Organisation has revealed foreign interference is at an all-time high as more foreign agents are operating inside the country now than during the Cold War. During ASIO's first annual threat assessment address, the organisation also revealed it had uncovered a sleeper agent running a spy ring. ASIO Director General Mike Burgess wasn't mincing his words during Monday night's address. We will continue to deploy our traditionally highly classified tools and tradecraft to counter espionage and interference. But these tools alone will not be enough. The threat of a terrorist attack remains probable and the number of terrorist leads ASIO is chasing has doubled in the last year. Targeting Islamic and right-wing terrorism remains the agency's number one priority. But one of the starkest warnings was around foreign espionage and foreign interference. The level of threat we face from foreign espionage and foreign interference activities is currently unprecedented. It is now higher than it was at the height of the Cold War. The agency revealed it had uncovered a sleeper agent running a major spy ring. That a foreign intelligence service sent an agent to Australia. The agent lay dormant for many years, quietly building business and community links, all the while maintaining secret connection with their offshore handlers. Also in exchange for significant cash payments, the agent was also provided with on the, we provided on the ground logistical support for spies who travelled to Australia to conduct intelligence activities. It was also revealed the agency used controversial encryption legislation, the Assistance and Access Act, 10 days after it came into effect. Espionage and foreign interference has been different. Due to the very nature of our spying, the efforts of my organisation to detect and counter espionage have always, almost always been hidden from public view. But this is changing. Charlotte Mortlock, Sky News. All right, viewers, this is breaking news. Uh, it's also on the front page of the Australian. ASIO uncovers sleeper agent running spying. That's the headline. ASIO has revealed it uncovered a sleeper agent running a major spying and providing logistical and financial support for foreign agents engaged in intelligence gathering missions and harassing dissidents. In Australia, the Domestic Security Agency has also apprehended an increasing number of spies entering or trying to into the country as it warns that more foreign agents are operating on Australian soil than during the height of the Cold War. Scott Emerson, this is uh, disturbing stuff. Very disturbing stuff, Gleeso, and uh, extraordinary to think that uh, given the, in the, the intensity of the Cold War that the situation could be even worse now. What I thought was interesting from Mike Burgess, he refused to name the country where they're talking mm. about, but there's lots of speculation, including from Simon Benson in The Australian uh, Tomorrow, that it is the Chinese, and I don't think anything uh, that uh, we're reading tonight would surprise us, given how many stories we've heard in terms of the China's interest in the South Pacific in terms of uh, Australia and also in terms of how they've been dealing with dissidents in Australia and the pressure being put on dissidents here. Uh, but this is a very disturbing report by Mike Burgess, the head of our major security uh, force in Australia. Damien Thomason, your thoughts? Yeah, look, it's obviously very concerning. And uh, in Greg Sheridan's piece there, he talks about the rise of Islamic uh, terrorism and, and chatter and, and how it's just a matter of time that you know, terrorists are actually plotting against our nation as we speak. So, look, I think, uh, I think we've all um, enjoyed, you know, levels of security that, that maybe we thought might come to an end one day, that we thought, you know, we've had a blessed run, probably a reflection of the uh, quality of our security services. But I think al always our, our biggest asset as far as international security has been our uh, general location. I think we're fairly remote. It's just too hard to do things here. But it sounds like... Uh, uh, our blessed run is coming to an end. And uh, if we head to the SMH, and of course this is breaking news, Mike Burgess, the ASIO chief, has spoken tonight about the threat. Spy chief sounds alarm on neo-Nazis. The head of the nation's domestic spy agency has sounded the alarm on foreign interference in Australia's political affairs and on the rise of right-wing extremism. Australian Security and Intelligence Organisation boss Mike Burgess also revealed that a sleeper agent had secretly operated in the country for years before being caught. Interesting, uh, Scott, that the SMH has, uh, has led with the uh, alarm on neo-Nazis as distinct from the Australian, which of course went with the sleeper uh, cell 
uh, uh, sort of uh, angle. Oh, I think we've seen that um, that issue that extreme right wingers. Uh, in, in uh, neo-Nazis and such things uh, rising up. There's elements of that we've been reported about. But um, it is interesting to see the contrast between where the nine newspapers have gone and where the uh, News Limited and the Australian has gone in terms of that. Um, it's interesting also in terms of we're here not talking about the, the threat from cyber security, which, which is really has dominated over the last uh, six months to a year. We are here talking now about physical agents in Australia... Um, as this is sleeper agents, but also running a spy ring, mm. which is fascinating to see uh, and just shows the intensity, I think, of what we're facing, uh, uh, the threat. This is not a hot war, this is a cold war, um, but it's a very intense uh, battle. Mm. Uh, perhaps between nations, and we are under threat as a, as a, as a, stra a nation. And it's interesting, Scott, you mentioned that, uh, you know, the spy chief didn't recognise or didn't acknowledge where his concerns were, but, of course, Simon Benson, who is one of the best in the business, mm. has certainly indicated it's probably the Chinese. Now, this comes off the back of uh, the way in which uh, we've stopped Huawei, the, uh, the telco, from coming here, but also... And this is a big issue for Australia. It's an issue that I've spoken about and I've written about repeatedly. The encroachment of the Chinese in the South Pacific through infrastructure spending, through loans to these poorer countries is extraordinary. And last week we did actually see some reaction from the Australian government when they took some of the foreign aid away from Asia and pumped it into the South Pacific um, to the tune of about $1.2 billion. But that is a particularly uh, difficult geopolitical issue for Australia right now, Damien. Absolutely, and we saw it blow up there with the, uh, you know, the the criticism of, uh, of our climate uh, mm. policies, uh, which was just, you know, direct messaging straight from China, um, the little Solomon Island country having a crack at Australia. So, yeah, not good. It was interesting to see in terms of that today's uh, today's Australian talking about that hundred billion dollar loan yes. to Solomon Islands, you know, billion dollars. seventy times its <laughs> GDP, GDP. Uh, and in terms of in terms of and you think well the low interest rates, mm. but what are they going to want ahead of time? And of course that's all happened yeah. after the Solomons no longer recognised Taiwan and said we'll recognise China. Yeah. You can see the pattern of occurring. This this this. Uh, Belts and Roads policy yeah. is far more than some sort of just infrastructure program. It's much more serious than what that. What about the consultancy fee for Mr Wong? I think it was $11 billion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>